In today's video, I want to talk about my predictions for some of the NASCAR Cup Series drivers and teams. And I'm going to give you a little track house nugget. Hi, I'm your host David. Thanks for watching this video. If you want the latest automotive and racing news, please subscribe and leave likes on the channel. It really helps it grow. So I'm going to start with Hendrick Motorsports. My prediction for William Byron is he'll, he'll get quite a few wins and possibly championship if he stays the form like last year. And then we're going to talk about Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson will definitely get a lot of wins to definitely be a contention for a championship. Now, Chase Elliott, even though he didn't have the lackluster season last year, I think this year, deciding he doesn't get any more injuries, he will get back to form of winning multiple races. William, I mean, no, Alex Bowman, he'll probably get like three wins, but I don't think he's going to do anything special. My predictions for Penske is that Joey Logano will probably not have a stellar season. So he'll probably get a couple wins, but it gets to be seen with the new car. Uh, Ryan Blaney, seeing as how he turned it on late last season, I think he's going to do it again. But maybe get a couple wins in the beginning of the season. Uh, his teammate Austin Cedric probably get two wins because we really haven't been able to see his capabilities because he hasn't been doing very well. My predictions for Roush, finally Kenslowski's race team, is that Brad will click off some wins this year because the team has been steadily growing. Uh, they thought his teammate, the number 17 of Chris Buescher, he will get multiple wins and probably make the championship. 12. Um, now I'm going to go to Stuart Haas Racing. So, the only thing that's changed with Stuart Haas Racing is the new Mustang. So, the driver of the number four, Josh Berry, I think he'll get a couple wins based on how he did for Junior Motorsports the last couple of years. His teammate, Ryan Priest, in the 41, I think will get a couple wins. Hopefully he'll get into the top 12. Noah Gregson. I think he'll get a couple top 10s and a couple 15, top 15s. See how he did the last year in the Cup Series. His teammate, on the other hand, uh, of the 14, uh, I can't remember his name. Sorry, no, I'll let, I'll let it go. Can't remember his name. I think he'll get back to winning like he did a couple of seasons ago. Chase Briscoe, the driver of the number 14 Stuart Haas racing car, he will get a couple more couple wins this season to hopefully make the championship. Like he like how he was doing really well a couple seasons ago. So track house racing driver Ross Chastain will get a few more will get a few wins this year and hopefully make the championship four. For Daniel Suarez, on the other hand, he's been less than stellar in the last couple of years. I don't think he's going to get any wins this year. Trackhouse Racing 
test also started a lower GP team with Aprilia as Aprilia as their motorcycle manufacturer of choice. The uh, bike is inspired by the American flag that looked like one of the one of the riders rode back in the late eighties, early nineties. So my question to you is. How do you think they'll do on their debut season, which starts on March 10th? Now I'm going to talk about Legacy Motor Club driver of the 43 car, Eric Jones. I believe he's been steadily getting better every year, so I think he'll get a couple wins this year. Now I'm going to talk about the number 42 driver, John Hunter Nemechek. He's a good driver. I think he'll get at least one win this year. His teammate in the 84 of Jimmy Johnson, we know he's a proven winner, but hopefully he'll get a couple wins this year and not get wrecked out like he did last year. Now I'm going to talk about Richard Childress Racing, driver of the number eight, Kyle Busch. We know he's a really, he's a proven winner. I believe he'll get back to winning multiple races this year, like he did early on last season. Austin Dillon, driver of number three. He'll probably get at least one win, but he's not gonna be very spectacular. He just got the ride because he's the grandson. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about front row motorsports driver Michael McDowell of the 34. I believe he'll get a couple wins this year. I hope he makes it to the championship. The number 38 driver, Todd Gilliland. I don't really know much about his performance, so I can't make any predictions. Don't forget to check out my socials in the link on the description below. Thank you for watching this video.